Hey, this is Raul and today I've got a bad experience to share with you guys. Now, I don't have a very favorable opinion of the Indian police and that is because some of my own past experiences where police have shown inaction where there was crime. Once I was hit by a person, he damaged my motorcycle, but there was no action taken by the police. So I don't really trust the police of India, but we'd have to live with them. And I try to avoid as much contact as possible while riding within the city. I always ride within the speed limits. And here in the video, I was riding 50 to 60 kilometers per hour, sometimes even below that. And what happened was the signal, which I'm very much used to, that signal wasn't working and the police officer who was supposed to stop me was looking the other way and waving the hand back at me. You can see, I would like to pause the video here to explain what's happening. On the left corner, you can see the police officer who's very far away from me. He's not even looking at me. He's looking the other way, but just waving his hand back at me. He doesn't have a stop sign in his hand like he's supposed to. So I could not really understand if he's waving at me or something else. You can see on the middle, a car is passing so the signal was green right a few seconds ago and that car is being allowed to pass i'm looking at that car so i'm thinking that it's still green i understand that the car on the right is stopping because he has somehow realized that the signal has turned red by the way the signal wasn't functioning it was completely blacked out and suddenly it turned yellow and then red so this is the situation I am now realizing that I have to stop and I'm going really hard braking. You can see the front end of the scooter vibrating. I braked really hard and I stopped it. So that was my thing. I still could have braked harder but there was always this fear of being hit by someone from the back. But as you can still see that I'm still quite a distance away from the zebra crossing lines and I've managed to stop. Now they have still decided to find me. So this is the situation. Now I've given you the context and you can see the rest. In case you don't understand Bengali, which was the language we were speaking most of the time, I've given you full subtitles so that you can understand no matter wherever in the world you're watching this from. I hope it helps you out. <laughs> ठीक न बेरिए के लिए एक टाइम व्यापार था कि एक टाइम ब्रेकिंग है जो ना हुट कोड़े जब ही रेड हो जाए हमारे तो ब्रेक को तो टाइम लग बे नहीं आपने सोच जा करूँ ना सोच जा कोती है व्यापार के हेलो नहीं सही करूँ तादेव करूँ चलो आपने आपने जाके जा फोन को तो बारे करूँ पहले आप बोलो एक टू कहानी क्रॉस करेगे जी ये टा केस दिया हुए सर ये टा छेड़ दिन ना एक टू कहानी क्रॉस करेगे जी आमे किन्तु ये टा जन दारी जी एक टू ब्रेक टा कोता बोला ले केस किन्तु ऑनलो सेक्शन आते ठीक है लेकिन फालतू में आये हुए जी ना ना तो किन्तु दाना ले वो अपना केस दें ना ना तो गाड़ी तो � इटा तो देखते हैं अभी जाता जिनी से सिग्नल थी के स्टॉप लाइन के डिस्टेंस को तो कौन आ चें इरोको में अबे केस दिया था बेन जिरोको में जा कुछ ही मने इटा तो रेड था क्लाइमी तो दारा था हमारे तो रेड चिलो ना मैं आज चिलम देख लाऊं हॉट कोडे येलो है गलो दिए रेड है गलो तो हम के तो तो अपना देख कि सिग्नल को ले रखूँ मैं कौन था क्यों जो उठ कोड़े रेड हो जावे तो दाना तेरे सोमाए देवे ना एक लोग तो केस दे आज जो नहीं कोड़ा आर की हाँ तो शिट तो अपना देरी डिपार्टमेंट अपना देरी तो डिपार्टमेंट एक तो जिनिस जब कौन दाढ़ी है ची तो कौन एक टू कहानी ज़्यादा से टाइम लाइक बेचे तो तो नॉर्मल जिनिस अपना तो गाड़ी चालन अपना तो जाने जब तो बाइक हट कोड़े दाढ़ी है बेना इधर अपना को वार्निंग डाल एक्सेल लगा एक बार इन नंबर उठ बेर पड़े होले की तो अपना रेटा 
केस द कन्सिडार करते पैसा डाउन Obviously, you will slow down slower yeah. because if you suddenly break, you are on a two-wheeler. Somebody can hit you from the behind, yeah. and nobody will be responsible if somebody hits you from the back. Then they will say we are not responsible. You break, but it doesn't matter. If someone breaks behind you and hits you, they will not take any responsibility. They will not say that it because of our signals you got hit, so we will pay you a compensation or something. If something happens to you, nobody cares. If street rules, nobody cares. For fixing the potholes, nobody cares. Accidents will happen, nobody cares. But when it comes to somebody who has already stopped few feet beyond the stop line, it wasn't like that signal was already red, so that I was going breaking the rules. I was already at a below speed limit speed from when the signal turned red so i had to take the time to break this is not a super bike that it has like big twin discs or even my duke 390 has like huge brakes so it will take some time to slow down and stop but they will not consider that why because they have to collect money for the government because this government uh, doesn't earn so much taxes from uh, industrialization and all that because we, we've killed our industries so let's get on the street and let's just collect money like the like the police officer was saying that police is say, saying that you think the police is there for uh, uh, looking at your face no the police is there to protect us that was the original purpose of the police to protect us to help us uh, to uh, with the traffic conditions and all that but they don't do that what they do instead is just uh, what they do instead is just this how, how how they can extract money from citizens who are law abiding they will not go to certain sections of neighborhoods where there are nobody abides by the rules because uh, they have some sort of protection they not go to those those areas you you very well know what i'm talking about i think you have to go home it's 9:45 so i think you're late i don't think you will be able to make it to trotter shuttle escape while you and me repeat this bit of sweet heat is suffocating i'm waiting and always hesitating 
Kryptonite desire set my heart afire.